wide receivers, Obadiah Butler, John Tavon Marks, Charlie Carr, and Caleb Lee. Starting left tackle, William Nichols, William Haynes, the left guard, Cesar Maris, the center, Jace Taylor, the right guard, and Jake Willon Pettyway, the right tackle. Hand off there to the running back. He's going to make one man miss, go right side. He's got a first down and then some, and he's going to break a tackle. He stays in bounds, and that is the first touchdown in JMU yes. history. And it happened on the very first play. Wow. How about Marlon Freeney, number 22. The five foot 10 214-pound running back out of Varen Parish runs down the sideline. That is a 60-yard run. And he bounced that one outside. He didn't want to go there, but he had to. He was forced outside, gets it over to the sidelines, and that's it. He broke a few tackles, straight, uh, straight on, stiff arm. There we go. Couldn't get it out. I think I'm so excited. But can, first play and a touchdown. What do you think about that? That is just spectacular. Marlon Freeney, that's history, guys. In the books, first touchdown. In JMU history, now we're going to see Levi Neely for the first extra point. Levi Neely is the kicker and the punter, and a good story about him, he's the first ever JMU recruit. And the kick is going to get through. I, yeah, I think it did. Just skimp right over. Yeah. Hey, you'll take it, right? Yeah. 12-06, <laughs> 7 to nothing. A touchdown from Marlon Freeney of 60 yards. Levi Neely good for the extra point. That was a Extermaking Termite and Pest Control touchdown. Third and 22. This is not ideal offensively as uh, the defense kind of knows what you're wanting to do here. They're going to come with the blitz. Looking to pass. He's rolling left. And he gets hit. He throws up a lame duck. Number 10 will make the catch. Yes. It's an interception. He's going down the right side. He breaks the tackle. Stiff arms a man. Get off me. Going down the sideline. He's got nothing but green grass in front of him. He's at the 20, at the 10. He is in the end zone. The second touchdown of JMU history goes to Raylan Hill. 82 yards, Alvin. Wow. And you know, it was Maurice Joshua Maurice out of your neck of the woods. <laughs> and, and, or Bush. Well, you credit Maurice and Bush. Bush came in off of that far side, off of the left side, and just really caused that interception as, as Weaver was hit while he was throwing the football. And I'm impressed. <laughs> that was a great play. And the, you mentioned that the hit kind of caused a lame duck on the football. It, it didn't really go very far. No. Keeping it. Ball snapped. Third and 12. Looking to pass. He's got pressure in his face. Look wrapped up, and he is sacked. Oh, the ball comes out. JMU is going to pounce on it. Down at about the 16. It's a Miller football. I thought for a moment that was going to be a scoop and score. It looked like it was going to be. That's another Southern Diesel Concepts forced turnover by the Millers. And they have great field position. It was Devontae Lombard that picked that up. Great job defensively by the Millers. Second and goal from the 14. They're motion a guy from the left to the right. Shotgun snap, fakes the handoff, looking left, throws over the middle, caught, and into the end zone. Looks like Obadiah Butler. That was a great play. Get to the 32. To the right, one of the left, running back on each hip for Clark. Clark looking to pass. Scrambles a little bit out of the pocket. And he's going to try to dump it over a defender, and he makes the catch. That's number 30. He's out of bounds at about the 12. Clark's pass complete to Prince. Prince just uh, running down the sideline the there. And a great job. Down. Great job of him being able to get, uh, of Clark being able to get that ball, ball down to him because he was on the run. <laughs> Second and five, and a handoff there to number 22 up the middle and into the end zone. They can't get him down, and finally they do, but not before he gets an Exterma King Termite and Pest Control touchdown, the fourth of the game. That's Marlon Freedy. That's Marlon Freedy with his second rushing touchdown already in this one. Look, I'm going to tell you right now, Freeney is impressive. He's five foot ten. He's 214 pounds. 
That's a big bat. That's a power back. I, yes. I would go out on a limb and say that. And what he can do when he gets going, he just he'll just throw right through him, and he did it right there on that play. Two missed extra points, a failed two-point conversion, and a safety. I hope you had that on your bingo card as Garrett Clark looking to pass <laughs> deep, looking for a guy. He's got a man open. He hits him in stride. He's going to shrug off a tackler and get down to about the three. Straight down the sideline. That's a P.J.'s coffee first down, a big play there. This number 18, I believe, the receiver. And you, and you know what? You had time. He, they, they gave him time. That offensive line gave him time. All they did was just ran that route straight down the sidelines. And it was basically, look, my guy is going to outrun your guy. And they did a great job there by – I believe that was Caleb Lee on the catch. Yeah, I think you're right. And Clark just getting it up there. Really a nice throw, Evan. Know, like I said, the coaches aren't going to be 100% satisfied. They never are, but you got to feel good. <laughs> There's a little shuffle pass, and that's going to be stopped. I think the one, and the ball finally comes out. I think they blew it dead, though. They yeah. called a touchdown. He, he got across. He did. Is that number 37 he, on the touchdown? Yes. Absolutely, that was uh, Hasty. Kenneth Hasty, yeah. That is a touchdown for JMU. Uh, Extermin King Termine Pest Control touchdown. That's the fifth one for JMU. 6.40 on the clock. That is a three yard, you call that a run or a pass? That's a pass. Yeah, that sure is. A great job by Clark there, just kind of uh, shoveling it off to. So who was that? We said. That was Hasty. Hasty. Clark's going to run left side, try to get two to get in, and he does. A two-point conversion. Gary Clark, keeps Clark gets the touchdown points. and the two-point conversion. One passing, one running, and it's 35 to nothing. Great job on the left side of that offensive line. Yeah. Those... Under center looks like the wishbone offense again, and he's going to yep. roll left side. Weaver throws it high in the air. A couple of DBs there. And that's going to be picked off, ripped out of his hands, running left side. He's going to break a tackle. He's going. Going to the sideline and cut down by the quarterback at the 10. 47 seconds to go, and that is a big yeah, interception. interception you know it's going your way, right? <laughs> now an umpire or a referee <laughs> falls down. Two to the left, two to the right. Running back on the left hip, Ewing hands off. Goes up the middle on the draw, and he's going to get it into the end zone. A touchdown with 18 seconds to go. Offensive line just does a great job opening up the hole. He steps into it, does a spin, and he's into the end zone. It doesn't get any better than that. That is a Extermin King termite and pest control touchdown here with 17 and a half seconds to go. It's 41 nothing in an onslaught from JMU and now a two point try here coming. There are a few issues with the extra points as we mentioned and he's just gonna kneel it on a two point conversion. Have you ever seen you that before? It, it, no, I haven't and I'll be honest with you but I, I, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that because you're up 41 to yeah. nothing. And 